to the main event, guys. Yeah, Ryan Garcia steps in the ring with uh, Mr. Jose Lopez, another fighter who was, I mean, to me, it was a step up to Ryan Garcia. I know to everybody else, it doesn't seem like a step up, but you know what? I'm going to say this, guys. Uh, Ryan could fight Gervonta Davis, beat Gervonta Davis, and will still criticize Ryan Garcia. Ger- Ryan Garcia could fight uh, who? Who? Who could he Canelo. fight? Can- no, no, not Canelo, bro. Come on, let's no, be realistic. No, no, let's be realistic. Yeah. Okay, but let's say he fights. Uh, who's a good, uh, a good, a good, a good opponent that he could fight right now? Terry Farmer. Over chin. Over chin. And it will still not be enough because they'll say, "Well, there's something wrong with the kid." So no longer do I go into this like battles with everybody on social media. You know what I mean? Some people are going to like him. Some people are not going to like him. They're just the same way they did with Oscar de la Hoya. Just I like never. the same way that people find excuses for Manny Pacquiao. You know what I mean? Manny Pacquiao did how many divisions, bro? Mm-hmm. And they still hate on him. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, Mayweather. Mayweather undefeated. And people still hate on him. So no longer do I try to switch people's minds. People believe what they want to believe. I give you guys all the power for it. I just say he did really good. I still think he needs to do a couple of things right. I still think that um, he gets wild when he's going to go for the knockout. When he has the opponent hurt, he still does those little errors where he goes a little bit wild. But other than that, bro, I did not see anything wrong with Ryan. I mean, he's getting better. He's no longer putting that little step back. I think whatever Eddie's doing, keep it going, man. Just watch out on that whole... Yeah. Once you have your opponent hurt, don't get wild. The, I mean, the excuses, like you're saying, when he fought... He's fighting the past uh, opponents. Oh, he's fighting a guy that's six inch shorter than him. Now he fights a guy that's his height. Oh, he's fighting a guy that's 40 years old. Now he fights a guy that's 25 years old. The excuses will always be there because they hate on Ryan. That's the, the reality. Um, if, you, if you compare Ryan to another, let's say Terrence Crawford, right? Terrence Crawford in his 18th fight fought a guy that was 15 wins, 10 losses. And he was 24 years old. And he was also a decorated amateur. So... I think that the hate comes to Ryan because they feel that he gets too much attention and they feel the hype around him. But I mean, any boxing promoter or manager out there would love to have him. Mm -hmm. So he's 20 years old. He said it himself that the competition is going to get better and it's going to be tougher fights for him. So I think he passed the test. I think he looked, I thought he looked good. So I give him an A for his performance. Mike Styles is backing you up, bro. He says he looks a lot better with uh, Team Canelo. Uh, Ruben Cuellar says the same thing. Ryan's looking better. So I, I think a lot of people are starting to see that he's changing a little. Uh, hopefully it goes for the for the better. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but speaking about Ryan Garcia, I know our good friend uh, Steve Kim interviewed him. I don't know if it was pre-fight and he, or after post-fight. It was a post-fight interview where Ryan mentioned that he would love to get get it on with uh, Tim Farmer. Any thoughts, guys? Yeah. And that goes as a promoter, and that goes as as a, as us, like a fan. As you us. know, you mean a fan? We're fans. And but what do you think? What I think, first of all, I want to ask Steve Kim. I don't wasn't there in the interview, but why did he mention Tim Farmer if Ryan has fought his last three fights at 135? Tim Farmer's a 130 fighter. So Correct. I wasn't there at the interview, so I don't know how how that fight, how that conversation progressed. Terran, Terran Farmer. Is Terran Farmer coming out at 135? Because I don't see. You don't I don't see, think. You I, don't see Ryan going down to 130 for a title belt? I don't think so. I'm not his trainer, so I don't know. They know more than I do. But I'm just curious why. Uh, who's the one that, that mentioned. Um, Steve Kim. Steve. Steve. Who he wants to fight? And, and Ryan said Terran Farmer? Yeah. No, Steve Kim asked, him, Would you go down to 130 for a title belt? Okay. Who would you? Okay, so so Steve can ask Ryan, would he go down on one thirty? Okay, so he said ten farmer. But why would he ask down on one thirty? Just curiosity. He couldn't make one thirty. So we're 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 getting it right yeah. now. We're getting right now. We're getting it from his manager. Yeah. Who should know him really good? It's his manager, right? And he says that right for a title belt could make one thirty, and he will be ranked number one. So hey, man, I, there is a high possibility. I don't think Terry Farmer will be next. I mean, for Ryan. Immediately, no, I, mean, I, I see it towards the end of the year, maybe you know what I mean, or maybe at the beginning of, of the next year. But 